you're about to find out. My memory, my memory is hazy from this time period in my life, because this was such a long time ago. From my perspective, <laughs> I was one of the more shy, nerdy kids in school. <laughs> Fragmented. <laughs> if you have a weak stomach, don't watch a praying man to see. <laughs> I'm serious. Just don't. That was not a pleasant time. For anyone in my family. <laughs> I was becoming more and more of a weirdo, weirdo at this time. <laughs> You'd be surprised as to some of the things I found. <laughs> The discoveries I made. <laughs> the, ne the next paragraph is a long one. I also found numerous isopods. Hods around there. There's something that I didn't ma fail to mention in this paragraph. That event took place in 2019. Again, not a pleasant time for me or any one of my family. It was never the fault of the surgical team. Never. I was not the sharpest knife in the knife drawer at the time. <laughs> I found some interesting things. Things, too. Ah, <sighs> COVID. I forgot to mention earlier that I also found at least one, one species of amphibian and near the house. They used to be abundant. The weather patterns have become more and more confusing. This, I think, is the main reason. And, uh, whew. reason three and reason two could be grouped into one. Ah. This is actually quite common in, in nature, nature, 
butterflies aren't the only e insects ex ex that do this. To be honest, it's most likely a combination and a combination of the reasons I listed earlier. One other thing I had forgotten to mention was that there's also some kind of strange disease affecting monarch butterflies. Oh, it's been quite a while since I've actually seen one. <laughs> to be honest, I'm starting to think I'd have better luck looking for Bigfoot evidence than for Bigfoot. This, that fact right there was something I only learned about a few weeks ago. I sure hope so. Yeah, we shall see. Have a nice day, my friend.